everyone, it's Marisa with Sweet Pea Curiosities. Hope you're all doing wonderful today. So I'm coming on here to do a flip through of something that's new for me, a new project. I've never done one of these before. It's a stacked envelope file folder journal. And I found this on, uh, well, I originally saw her on a Facebook group. She posted hers that she had done and then she did a tutorial and her name is Diane Thomas. She's on YouTube here. And as soon as I saw it, I rushed out and watched her video and I just had to jump right in and make one for myself. And oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I just love it. I will definitely do more of these. Um, once you kind of get the flow, it's very easy to do. Her instructions are awesome. And um, I can't wait to show you. So it's made out of a file folder that's folded in half to create your base. And then the top part are the envelopes. And I'll go ahead and I'll start and I'll just kind of start showing it to you. It has two different ties. It has one that holds the top and then one that holds the inside. Now the inside, before we get to the envelopes, just opens like this. Now she had done some pockets on each side of hers and decorated it, but I just kind of left mine uh, with my papers. But I did add a signature in, just one signature of some papers of mine. And the, everything that I used in here for all my different journals, or uh, sorry, digitals, and I used, I think, four different digitals that I have. Um, and I will link those below. So I used my Purple Flower Open Books. I used my Purple Junk Journal Kit. I used my Flower Open Books. My Flower Open Books are, are like this here. They're open book pages um, that have flowers on them. And then I used my vintage 1879 book page uh, digitals. So what that is, as I had an 1879 old book, I created a digital with those and I use them all the time. Um, I can't remember how many pages you get, but you get quite a few. And they're just, they're wonderful. I love, um, just everything about them their sayings and everything that they they do but anyway so that's out there and then uh like i said this is a signature here that i've put in and i've just left these blank to be able to write in to fill up uh with whatever you'd want to fill up now the inside just so you know also you can put in the top here of each side i can't get to that one here but each side has an opening at the top that you can also put more items in i didn't put anything inside those you create your own tabs when you're doing this and then i just put some numbers and a little tag number up here that i put i think these are tim holtz uh, rub on stickers that I used up here at the top so I did kind of like she did where the tabs were but you could uh, once you see her video you could put those where you'd like but I kind of did what she did and I like where they're at so anyway so that's the inside of it and then this part here has another tie that holds the envelopes and how it works, you have one here that flips, another flip, another flip, just like this. Oh my gosh, isn't that just so fun? Love it. All right, so my first flip, and each one of these is a pocket. And so my first one here, I have a little tag that I put in. there this one here i just did a little flip here 
Then here, this is from my digital junk journal kit. I just kind of tore the, the papers, use a little saying that's on there, and then use a backing of some old paper, book paper. Then this here is a pocket. Here, whoops, oops, got one stuck in there. Um, so there's a pocket there. So you all, I started this morning, so it's one o'clock now. I got up about 6.30, got my cup of coffee, came in here, sat here to finish this off, and I looked, it was noon, I was still in my pajamas. <laughs> I thought, I better go get dressed. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you guys? <laughs> Please don't tell me it's only me. <laughs> All right, so here's another flip here. This here I used one of the corner pockets. Did some ephemera. Here's some more of that great paper, Etiquette of Visiting. These pages that, that's in this digital, they're full pages. So you can read all of the information. I just, you know, I pick what I want to use in here. Here's another pocket. This is the bigger envelope. I've put a vintage letter in here. Okay. And here's this here. I've got a like a tag pocket. Another tag. Oops. Another little pocket here. I have this little side pocket that's right here. This little pocket here. Then I created a pocket on top of this with another tag. And then here I've got two little pockets. Two little pieces of ephemera. Here's one of those great pages again, letter writing. And I have another pocket here with another vintage letter. And on the inside, I created a belly band with some ribbon and some lace, put some little flower embellishments. And then these are in the kit, kit uh, junk journal kit. These are the envelopes. So I created the envelope and again, I used that 1879 paper and I picked it so it would have some sayings so this says forms of salutation and then let's see and then inside a little card engravers inscriptions there's another one Adequate of introductions, styles of lettering, that just goes in there like that, and just flip it, flip it back. I'm going to make more of these. It was so fun. I've just been kind of in a funk lately, not really creating like I used to. And 
Yeah, she kind of helped kickstart some inspiration for me, so I appreciate that. So there you go. What do you think, guys? Isn't that fun? So I'll link her down below, as well as all the other digitals that are in here as well. So let me know what you think. If you like that, if you do one, Make sure you share with me. I don't know if you're on Instagram or Facebook, but make sure you tag me so I can see your creations. All right. Have a wonderful day. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.